Hey everybody, it's Gypsy Wolf. I hope you're really enjoying your weekend or the start to it. It's late Saturday night, early Saturday, Sunday morning, excuse me. And trying to make sure this candle does not burn out here. But, okay, so I was at a concert earlier and even though I had a wonderful time, the energy was amazing, it's still very common to pick up on energies from other people the arena that you're in, whatever, that can leave you a bit, not just drained, but maybe feeling as though you need to banish um, some of those energies that are lingering in some way, shape, or form. So I wanted to show you a super duper quick way if you don't have a time to take a cleansing bath or shower um, and just want to get this negative energy off of you very quickly, very easily, with very few ingredients. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I don't know if you can see, this is a black candle. A lot of times I just use a black birthday candle. I use a black chime candle. It's almost burnt out now. And I did what we call a candle sweep. Um, you can rub it all over your body, but I just choose to rub it all over my chakras. And it absorbs my energy that way. So, okay, I'm rubbing in my crown. Third eye. Throat. Heart solar plexus and so on and so forth, right? Okay, that only takes a second. Once you do that, you want to light the bottom of it or just put it in a regular candle holder, okay? And what I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of salt around it in a clockwise motion to bring in protection and then some black pepper in a counterclockwise motion to help banish. So black banishes negativity uh, whether we brought it on ourselves or it's from other outside sources, okay? So, with salt, you always, that's normally used for protection. So that's why I did it in a clockwise motion to bring in the protection. So I sprinkled that. I don't know if you can see. It's a little hard to see. I sprinkled it in a clockwise motion around the candle after, you know, I set it in there and asked for protection. Then I took some black pepper it in a counterclockwise motion and it has to banish any negativity. Now, you can take this a step further and do, like I said, a cleansing bath. Um, if you only have a shower, you can take, you know, your, your salts, your herbs, whatever you choose, put them in like a, a basin of some sort with warm water and after you've cleansed for the most part in your shower, you can Pour it over yourself and then rinse one more time. But this is just a really easy, quick way to remove any of the negative, not just always negative, just stagnant energies that might attach themselves to you when you go into a really crowded area, which I tend to have a problem with. I, get, I, I do need to protect myself heavily, and then I always know I need to remove the energies as well so and at this time of year guys the veil is thinning so much um i'm dealing with spirits coming through very strongly my dog is dealing with it i know a lot of people dealing with it so i think it's really important right now to make sure that our energies and our auras are cleansed it is the right moon cycle to banish negativity Make sure when you are banishing negativity, you say, I banish negativity, whether it's brought on by myself or others, because you never know. That negative self-talk, and we all know what we're talking, like, we all know we do it sometimes, right? We want to rid ourselves of that. And then, once Samhain comes, we want to bring in that protection from our ancestors and whatever other beings you happen to believe in. I know that this was maybe a silly video. My, I guarantee most of it is stuff you already know. Um, I will add in that I did dress the black candle that I'm burning with my banishment oil, which I do show you how to make in a previous video, so make sure to check that out. It really does add an extra punch if you're trying to banish any self-doubt, any evil eye, any curses, or just the ickiness, the general ickiness of the day, so to speak, okay? 
all right guys i hope that was helpful if you have any questions let me know i know i haven't been on here a whole lot uh in the last week or two so i'm gonna try really hard to come back and bring you guys some more lust and love spells i'm working on putting those together and i'm also going to show you a clip of the concert that i went to tonight i had to go see cypress hill <laughs> it was so much fun guys never seen a, an arena that smoky before i will admit i'm pretty sure i got a contact high no i know i did <laughs> i did not partake but whew, that was interesting yeah i still feel like i smell like it a bit <laughs> so i'm gonna go get a shower i think and continue to rinse off anything that might have stuck to me tonight so that way tomorrow i can wake up refreshed happy because I have a lot I need to accomplish in the next month or so. I'm sorry that I'm whispering, but I don't want to wake up my man. He would not like that. <laughs> He's not a heavy sleeper. Okay, so I hope this helped. You guys let me know what you like to do. If you only have a couple of minutes or, you know, you don't have access to, like, you know, getting a shower or a bath or whatever to cleanse your energy and you want something quick, easy, minimal ingredients let me know what you guys do because i'd love to hear you know some of your ideas too and uh i hope this helped someone all right everybody have an amazing rest of your weekend and i will talk to you this week i have some really fun ideas for videos okay let's be